Good afternoon, my name is Larry Clayman, and as you know, I'm the founder of both Judicial Watch and now Freedom Watch. I'm also a former federal prosecutor. I'm also the lawyer that, while at Freedom Watch, brought lawsuits against the National Security Agency, CIA, and other intelligence agencies in my own name and the name of our clients, and we succeeded in having a federal judge in Washington, D.C., Richard Leon, enjoin these intelligence agencies from collecting massive amounts of telephonic metadata, that is, hacking our telephone calls, and the judge ordered that this stop. This resulted in a big public relations disaster for the intelligence agencies, and Congress later amended the Patriot Act to have the USA Freedom Act. So now the telephone companies can't turn over their telephonic data to the intelligence agencies automatically. There has to be a warrant, probable cause, that some communications occurring with a terrorist or a terrorist group or that a crime is being committed. We did succeed at doing that, but I do not believe that the intelligence agencies are following the law. They never had, and there is a documented record of them lying to Congress, and that's the segue to what's been happening this morning. We had an intelligence committee hearing through the Armed Services Committee of Senator John McCain. In my view, is more of a blowhard. At this point, he, he appears to be senile at some points, in that he's more inclined to get publicity for himself for self-aggrandizement than to actually get the truth of what's going on. And there was a presumption in this hearing among both Democrat and Republican senators that somehow Russia had hacked the accounts of the Democratic National Committee and the Clinton campaign and they tried to influence the election. Now we don't know that. And we have a history here of the Intelligence Committee's lying to Congress. Most notably, the outgoing Director of National Intelligence, James Clapper, who's a lied under oath when asked years ago whether the National Security Agency and the CIA were collecting the telephonic metadata of American citizens without so-called probable cause. He lied straight up. He was not prosecuted. Others who have lied before, before Congress have been, even baseball pitchers and, and people like Barry Bonds, you know, uh, who were hitters and that kind of thing. But he's above the law because he's part of this Washington establishment. And what I heard today was a rationalization without facts, is that Clapper comes in there and his eyes are shifting faster than Howdy Doody when asked questions, and he had no backup information to suggest Russia did this. Yet, no one asks a question, whether it's Republican or Democrat, as to what the CIA and NSA have been doing with American citizens, committing major crimes to get all the telephonic metadata without probable cause is a violation of the Fourth Amendment. The CIA does not have authority to do domestic spying. That's a crime. Clapper sat on top of it. I know because we have a whistleblower by the name of Dennis Montgomery who we've taken to the FBI and we got him immunity. He turned over 47 hard drives with over 600,000 pages, 600 million pages of information for the FBI and supposedly they're doing an investigation. We're looking into that and asking congressional authorities to double check that to the extent they will. But this hearing today was a charade. And what I heard from both Democrat and Republican senators were leading questions. So the way I would ask a question if I was in court. But they weren't probing questions to find out what goes on behind this hypothesis. And when it comes to the Republican senators, they want to make a name for themselves. John McCain, Lindsey Graham, they love the publicity. I heard them basically trash President-elect Trump. I think it's disgraceful claiming that in effect, that he's not accepting the results of these intelligence committees that have proved to be liars in the past, and the Democrat senators who want to show that the election was the result of Russian hacking and therefore delegitimize President-elect Trump. Now look, Freedom Watch is a nonpartisan foundation. We seek the truth wherever it is. We'll bring lawsuits to rectify wrongs in society, to have a more honest government, more honest judiciary, more honest uh, legislature. But you cannot take what is being said this morning seriously. And if I was President-elect Trump, and he's meeting with apparently some of these heads of the intelligence agencies tomorrow, I would basically say, you're fired. When I take office on January 20th, we're cleaning house in the intelligence agencies because you can't believe a word they say, and they've acted as criminals, particularly Clapper. And of course, John Brennan, who was the appointed hack of President Obama leading the CIA. 
This is primarily, in my view, an effort to delegitimize President Trump. Even if Russia hacked, there was admission in the hearing that Americans do the same thing with regard to Russia, our intelligence agencies. And it doesn't alleviate the fact that the truth got out that Hillary Clinton and the people around her have engaged in criminal activity and have manipulated the leftist media, which sought to run interference for them in a very dishonest and unethical way. That's the truth. So without taking sides here, I simply tell the American public, take what you heard this morning with not just a grain of salt, but throw it in the trash, because these intelligence agencies have behaved in a criminal fashion, frankly, the heads of them, Brennan, Clapper, others, they should be indicted, convicted, and thrown in prison for what they have done. And it's time to clean house and to get honest people, people that really represent the interests of the American people in place. And as I said yesterday in the YouTube, the real tragedy here is that the information about the Clinton campaign and the illegality had to come out through WikiLeaks from whatever source they had. But yet there were lawsuits in the courts, particularly in Washington, D.C., in federal court, to elicit very similar, if not the same information, more information than WikiLeaks even released. We had a number of lawsuits at Freedom Watch. Judicial Watch, my former group, had several lawsuits. Associated Press, others, were seeking information all these years. And because for the last 16 of the last 24 years, you've had Democrat-appointed judges by Bill Clinton and then Barack Obama put in place, and they had an interest to try to further the candidacy of Hillary Clinton, because if they did, maybe they'll get higher appointments. They slow-rolled these cases. They, in fact, obstructed the judicial process. The judiciary and the legal system has been corrupted to the point where these judges would cover for a dishonest politician like Hillary Clinton and the others around him. And that's why we have a judicial selection strike force that we've set up here at Freedom Watch, working with other conservative and libertarian groups. And if liberals want to join us, that's fine, too, if they're sincere. I don't know of one that is, but they can join us. And we need to get better judges in there. And there are 100 vacancies right now that need to be filled. We need judges who aren't politicians in robes. We need judges who represent the interests of we the people. Because if we don't have that, we're back to 1776. One of the primary reasons for the revolution was because King George III took our criminal justice system back to the courts in England and took our justice system away. As we stand today, we the people have had our justice system hijacked as well by corrupt politicians. And many of these judges, there are exceptions like Richard Leon, like Royce Lamberth, uh, like some others around the country, Judge Hainan in the Southern District of Texas, who have put her foot down and have stood up to the government, but they are few and far between. And that's why you're looking at Larry Clayman, a lawyer of almost 40 years experience, telling you that our legal system is generally corrupt. So please uh, check out what we do at freedomwatchusa.org, freedomwatchusa.org, uh, support us, because without a legal system, we are left defenseless. That's the difference between us and uncivilized societies between us and the third world. Currently, we're not, we're not much better than the third world. So God bless you. God bless America. Let your family be safe and have a happy new year. But we must keep fighting. We cannot let President Trump do it alone. And when he does things that are not correct, uh, we'll criticize that too. But we need to give him a chance. And we don't want to let these political hacks on the Armed Services Committee led by John McCain and others destroy something good that can happen in 2017 and beyond. Go to freedomwatchusa.org. We appreciate your support, and we're here for you.